We gotta get knives off the street. Hey, what is up all you savages out there? Welcome back to another video and everybody's talking about gun control in America, gun control. But over in England, they're like, no, we're gonna take it a step further because uh, over in England, you're not allowed to really own a gun for self-defense. But they're banning knives over in London. The mayor in London's basically coming out saying, hey, we need to get rid of knives and knife attacks. So, people, you think you're gonna get rid of violence by getting rid of guns here in America. That's not gonna happen because you get rid of all the guns, people are gonna use the next uh, form of defense, would be knives. You get rid of knives, they're gonna go to forks. You, you go, ah, oh, no one's gonna use a fork. They use forks in the prison systems all the time to uh, stab somebody. You don't think someone's gonna be smart enough to grab like a, a fork and stab somebody? You, you could go, Get, like when I was in high school, I was sitting in class and this guy grabbed a pencil and stabbed the guy in the side of the neck and the pencil stuck. So you cannot just keep getting rid of all these weapons and keep getting rid of all these uh, ways of self-defense for people to uh, end up hurting themselves. You, you can't. If there's a way, there's a will. Like they say, there's a will, there's a way. No matter what you do, you're always going to be able to have somebody get a hold of a weapon and do violence on somebody. It doesn't matter if it's uh, a criminal, a good guy, whatever. If you want a gun or you want a knife, there's a way to get it. And how are you going to ban knives? Are you going to ban just pocket knives? Are you going to ban the knives that like Rambo used? Are you going to start banning uh, butter knives? I mean, the list goes on and on. It's like, I'm not, I'm not being, uh, I'm not joking. But what can you start banning? Eventually, people are just going to start knuckling up and brawling on the street. Like MMA fighters, what do you do? Hey, you, you got to relinquish your, your knuckles because uh, you can't be swinging for the fences on the streets. Come on now, guys. People are going to do what they got to do to defend themselves, you know? But for the people that do violence and hurt people, that's totally messed up. I'm not saying everybody who who does the uh, stabbings or uh, holds a knife or carries a gun is a crazy person. I'm saying it's just kind of uh, outlandish that you're going, oh, we need knife control now. Like I said, like I said in the past, if you get rid of guns here in America, people will go to another form of defense, and that would be a knife, okay, or a baseball bat or uh, a golf club or something. I am so sick and tired of, of people always saying, well, it's, it's the automatic weapon. It's this kind of weapon we need to ban. And we clearly proved it to you last night in England that you don't need a gun to even cause a, a, a ruckus. They use knives. What kind of knife? I don't know. I just seen a clip of the article that said, uh, London knife attack. They want to uh, ban knives. Okay. Like I said, in life, people are going to do whatever it takes to cause violence if they want to cause violence. People strap bombs to their chest all the time in the Middle East and hurt people. Who's to say that won't happen in America, happen in England, happen in in Russia, wherever. If there's a will, there's always a way. The bad guys will always find a way to get that weapon and to cause mass harm. It's just the way it is. I don't know, like I said, how many people died, how many people were injured. I'm just saying, as a person, you can't just keep saying, we're gonna ban this, ban that, because uh, I could take my car right now and see a pedestrian walking on the sidewalk and run his happy ass over. What are you going to say? Oh, we need to start banning cars? No, nah, I ain't going to say ban cars because cars are a form of transportation. Cars are something that is necessary and cars aren't looked at as violence. It's more vicious and violent to run somebody over, to mow them down in a car than it ever would be to 
mow them down with a gun or shoot them with a gun. It's more violent to have me hit somebody so hard they fly over my car than it is for me to shoot them. It's more violent, I think, to use a vehicle. But, hey, the government out there, they'll do whatever the hell they want. The government, the uh, sick people in charge, they're always going to uh, try to find a way to justify why we need to get rid of guns, why we need to get rid of knives, why we need to get rid of this weapon, why we need to get rid of that weapon. The bottom line is, uh, protect yourself at all costs. If someone comes up to do something and you have a knife, defend yourself. If, you're, if someone comes to rob your house or break in and you have a gun, defend yourself. You know, do what you got to do to protect yourself. Don't let some uh, government stooge clown uh, try to take your rights away or try to hurt you or do whatever they got to do because they're in power. But my name is Trevor, as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'm going to definitely talk to you later because right now it's starting to rain pretty heavy here in Florida and hey baby this is Florida it always rains like this all the time but my name is Trevor and I'll see you guys in the next one just let me know what you guys think and I know I got a few people from the UK so hit me up in the comments and let me know what actually went down government students out there use your head more than a hat rack start listening up start smarting up and you know all a lot of these are false flags a lot of this shit is set up you know it is so hi and we'll talk to you guys soon.